had to get up. I couldn't sleep. Keep having things on my mind. A lot of stuff I want to do. And I want to. A lot of stuff I want to facilitate. <sighs> like love your neighbor. Oh, you know I've. I've been trying. Oh, tried to get a club together one time. Car club. Because transportation is so important. And uh, so. Uh, oh, by the way, this camera, this is my mirror. This is about all I ever see of myself. I very seldom actually use a mirror. I probably should. I will. But, uh, <laughs> good morning. Uh oh. But yeah, I wanted to start a car club. Me and some friends. We lived on a private road. We'd put a band together. We we sounded good. We were clean. We we had good music. Uh, but no, we weren't. You know, I had built a place. I didn't have any permits or anything. And uh, you know, I wasn't going to get any building permits. Like, no, I'm not agreeing with this stuff. And besides that, they were making up codes. They weren't even telling me they were changing. Changing the codes one day. So I had a fence. And Let me see. I don't know if I... I had some... Pictures. Oh. A, it's not focusing. Picture of a house I was building with my. Oh, here you go. The chainsaw mill. Oh, there's my chainsaw. And my mill that I was milling my logs for my home. This was my fence in my front yard. They said it wasn't up to code. I couldn't have it. <laughs> this was my house I built for $20 per day for one month. And that's what I had. I'd spent $20 a day mostly for gas money to go out and get materials and uh, there's another picture of it as I was building it but I had lots of cars there's some of my old cars that were in the snowbank behind my fence There's one of my dogs. <laughs> so I built it in like <laughs> November. Uh, you know, it was like before Christmas. Uh, here's here's my wood yard, my logs, and that. You can see the chainsaw mill in the background. You can see that house in the background, those people. You know, they end up getting refinanced, losing it. There's my, my fence. I got pissed off because I start building my fence and they tell me I can't. I'm like, maybe you can't build a fence, but I can. And they take it personal. I offend them at every turn. And, uh, there's 
some of the dogs that I had back then that are that's a great grandmother and a grandmother of some of the dogs I have now which they didn't want me to have dogs there's my house oh here's my brothers and sisters <laughs> and, and me I'm an odd character see but those are all my brothers and sisters there's ten of us and they're all alive and, uh, but yeah I lost that property I got run off I got falsely accused of a marijuana charge felony they didn't just want to take me to court though they wanted to cause me trouble eventually I end up on the lamb for a year because of that they wanted to send me to prison they didn't want me coming out of there because I wanted to start a car club I had a, I had a dozen old vehicles with titles working titles you know how much cash I could have got for clunkers but no you know the fire department over there same fire chief who uh, I put his fire out at Weyerhaeuser Corporation in Grayling and that was in 1984 probably he wasn't too happy about that <laughs> But I've tried to facilitate. I've got run around. Uh, now I'm here in another location. I haven't given up. You know, this is my country. I'm here as an American. I'm not here as a native or a non native or anything like that. I'm here by my human rights to be here. I'm going to do it again. And again, I'm not interested in permits. But uh, I want to facilitate some, some things that the, the club will do it again. You know, the band, the band will do it again. We're on a mission from God. It's like Blues Brothers. <laughs> but I, I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about Project Love Your Neighbor and how, you know, I'd actually been trying to be a part of that project for a long time. And, uh, You know, I had everything taken instead. Instead of getting help, I got demonized. Oh, I didn't have a project called Love Your Neighbor. Matter of fact, our band was called Trespass because we were playing mostly cover songs and, and we were playing them the way we played them. We trespass on our songs did what we want and then we had you know our, our club we just uh, thought we'd call ourselves the trespassers too you know trespass being you know forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and, but uh yeah, it was kind of fun showing you some pictures. I didn't expect to do that, but, oh. See, I had like a dozen vehicles. I had, mostly my cars were out of the 60s. And, matter of fact, I had 
367 Chevy pickup trucks uh, because that was the kind of the year model the year that I liked the body styles and that you know and it's uh, I love this country you know I grew up looking at all the automobiles and everything they meant something but I couldn't sleep now it's Saturday morning uh, February 10th so I thought I'd get up and say something oh because it usually doesn't happen that I uh I'm usually asleep or awake <laughs> but I seldom lay there and but I want to facilitate and I have and I there's a lot of things that uh I would like to develop myself uh I need a facility I need help there's opportunities here uh you know my people here when I got here the healthiest and the youngest one collapsed within days early in the morning we could have lost him he was going to drive himself to the to the hospital and I didn't know it. he had a, a boil or a, a carbuncle or so on his leg and he hadn't told us he said he had a pulled muscle and uh, I didn't know he was fighting an infection and uh, and it almost seems like that's the same one that Reggie got. She's healing up, but uh, man, and you know, of course, people didn't understand my enthusiasm. <laughs> They didn't know what was motivating me. My hope for the future. Ah, a little warm coffee. Ah, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity here. People are gonna fall into place once it's going on you know I can't expect people to understand uh, but a lot of stuff happened I mean our band got broke up before we you know our first real gig and uh, Crazy stuff, man. All very real. But all my vehicles, when I was on the land, when they had run me off, uh, they came back to my property. It was the middle of winter time, and I had uh, all my cars behind the fence and everything which should have made them legal then they said the fence wasn't legal and that beautiful fence I showed you I literally cut it down to six foot because they said the fence had to be six foot so I had rebuilt it six foot straight across had my cars behind it uh, took off to run from the law enforcement murders they would have murdered me but uh no it wasn't good enough so they came back here's the 
<laughs> the fire department, they're hired wreckers, they come with a payloader. They, that building I showed you, it was just one year old, and they had to tear it down with their payloaders. And they burnt everything. They burnt stuff that they wouldn't allow me to burn fire department. They took all my cars and they broke them up with the jaws of life. You know, I'd... I literally had a... a, a car... like a, a, a coupe... <laughs> A station wagon or a van and a pickup truck for each one of my children who I wasn't their father anymore according to you know the law I, they had terminated my parental rights so uh, and I wanted to start a car club and and we were gonna do maintenance on people's car everybody was poor Everybody's out there. Nobody wanted to fix their car. I was like, you know, we can get together on the weekends and make sure everybody's cars are running and have somebody during the week, you know, fixing our cars. I was willing to. There were others there. You know, we had some abilities. We weren't certified mechanics, you know, but we know how to put good brakes on and make sure a car stopped Even somebody with a certification can fail anyway uh, I couldn't sleep I was thinking about those things you know yesterday I was uh, actually listening to the White House uh, and, or not listening to President Obama, he came to Michigan, Michigan State, and, uh, man, uh, let me pull that up, actually, Spartans. Uh, so I thought that was good. Good morning. <laughs> so, so there's the end of it. <laughs> country. I've actually believed in government that, that more than most people. I just don't believe in zoning. I don't believe in all the things that government wants to govern. I think zoning's fine. I think some people want it. They need it, but it can't be imposed on everybody. And I don't even think that all of your property associations that even that they're not always fair either they still cannot be unconstitutional and uh, but so the president signed the farm bill and uh, you know it's really cool without bills they can't This was my. Can you hear that? It's all in the bill. It's all in the bill without the bill.
hills, it can't do much. Prohibition on the hemp. Yeah. Which isn't hemp itself is not the problem, it's the marijuana. But the hemp is what they don't want. But I think you know with this bill I think I was a little excited. Oh. oh. It's pretty clear the White House has got a clue. <laughs> no. And they would like to do what's good for the country. I think so. Essential steps to getting there. Essential steps to <laughs> get to the change. There it is. And let's see. Oh, you want change? Huh? Yeah. You, know, you want change? That's where it starts. Huh? And Vice President Biden. President Biden, he, he uh, spoke about infrastructure, about particularly about Amway. So, there's a lot of jobs we can create, recreate. I actually tried to. Uh, in this country. Here, <laughs> let's see. Show you what. I'm messing around on my computer here. Oops. It's all about the innovation of the people. This camera. What's wrong in the country? We all made yesterday. I've seen a lot of things wrong. I know better than anybody. I wasn't able to post that one yesterday. I don't. I tried to upload a video, but it didn't happen. Anyways, I'm saying good morning, good hopes. I do believe that uh, you know with that farm bill, uh, you know the farmers are going to be able to grow the the hemp. He's looking for innovative crops, ideas, things that we can do for the economy. Okay, so people need to step forward. I feel like, you know, I'm not uh, standing on both legs, you know, I, this world has really fucked me up bad, okay, now more than ever do I need that help, and I'm looking forward to that, and I believe, and I know, but, uh, so, uh, good morning, I couldn't sleep, I was thinking about the efforts I've made in the past, and how law enforcement, I can't make any promises, you know, that, hey, we try to facilitate, you know, love your neighbor, <laughs> project or something like that, uh, You know, gotta be with us. You know, uh, I'm getting what I want. Are you? I didn't have a, a family member, neighbor. All those beautiful people in my family were clueless about me. Nobody stood up with me. Go Spartans. You know, my friends didn't stand up with me. The the one friend who continued to really be my friend. Uh, he ends up getting arrested and charged with a murder that he certainly did not commit. The murder was a hit by police on somebody that they had set up to sell OxyContin, uh, Shane Peel. And I know they had set him up to sell OxyContin because I was in the jail when he got his first prescription. He was in the cell. They can look, it's all on record, it's there. Thank God Panda did not get sent to prison. Uh, Mike, our other neighbor who did, 
get sent to prison, but not for the that murder, but literally for running when they came after us. Oh. He got he didn't last long in prison. I understand. And they didn't want any of us to be alive today. And here we are. Thank God. Oh. So good morning, and everybody have a nice weekend and a blessed week coming up. And, uh, so, peace, y'all. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm almost awake. My water is hot. I'm going to make a fresh coffee. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.